quality, fine design, traditional skills, and painstaking craftsmanship. This is the story of Virginia Metal Crafters, its products, and its people. The splendor and elegance of the 18th century is represented in handcrafted furnishings in the Governor's Palace at Colonial Williamsburg. The 18th century was a brilliant period in the history of domestic furnishings. Skilled craftsmen designed and produced objects of timeless beauty and style. The gleam and sparkle of polished brass caught the light of fire and candle in the finer homes of England and the colonies. Now, carefully reproduced chandeliers bring sparkling magic to today's homes. These traditional products are being handcrafted by Virginia metal crafters in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. The desire to produce fine replicas in the tradition of the past places Virginia metal crafters in the category of a craft shop, serving the needs of the American consumer. The manufacturing process starts in the foundry, where craft skills dating back over thousands of years are adapted to the best techniques of today. Molten metal is prepared in a modern electric furnace and poured from a hand label. To make a casting, molten metal is poured into a sand mold. The mold is made from sand, which is fed from an overhead conveyor. The molder uses a frame, called a flask, to hold the sand and the pattern in place. First, the bottom half is loaded with sand and packed by jolting. The flask is then turned and the top half is loaded and packed. The mold is then opened so the pattern can be removed and, if desired, a core is placed in the center to make the casting hollow. Many products, like candlesticks, are made hollow with such a core. Cores are made from specially treated sand, which has been baked in an oven to make it hard. The two halves are joined together and the flask is removed. The mold is now ready to receive the molten metal. A special formula of brass is used for reproduction work. A crucible of molten brass is brought directly from the electric furnace to the pouring line by an overhead carrier system. The temperature of the metal is about 1850 degrees Fahrenheit and it is poured into the sand mold through a hole called a sprue. The metal runs into the cavity in the center of the mold and forms an exact copy of the pattern. When the metal cools and solidifies, the sand is broken away, revealing the casting. The sand is pushed through grates in the floor and back into a machine that cleans it and prepares it to be used again. Casting moves on to be cleaned, sawed, and made ready for the next operation, 